Hi, I'm Anna and I'm here at the World Maker Fair in Queens, New York. And we have been crafting here and doing make and takes for the last couple days. And Ermi came over. Hi, Ermi. Hi, Anna. How are you? Great. She's like, she's looking at me and she's doing a make and take with this. She goes, you look really familiar. And she goes, oh, you're on the Carol Laval show. <laughs> so I love her now. She remembers me from those days. So I said, why don't you come by tomorrow and I'm going to teach you how to make a really fun advent calendar. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. And our first step to do this advent calendar is using foam board. You all know how much I love to do projects with foam board. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with a piece of foam board. Now this is a green piece of foam board, okay? So foam board does come in different colors. And so what I did for you is I actually um, have a pattern. And I did my pattern, I put it on a grocery bag. But on the, on the website, we will have a PDF that you can um, blow up, okay? That gives you directions with the sizes how to make your own pattern, okay? So then once you do that, and you have your pattern made, and I actually need to have the stem, yes. no stem, so this is just, this little piece will fold over like that. So you're gonna place it on your foam board using your um, X-Acto knife and a ruler, and I like to use a nice metal edge ruler so you don't like cut in the wood or whatever on your ruler. You're gonna rem remove this, and you know, magic of whatever, I already have it cut for you, so. I'll take that out and then you're also going to cut another triangle piece and if I can just have you put that there on the floor for us there you go so we have the two pieces right so we have that like so and then um, as you can see when I cut this one here I folded up the stem because yes. we need to have two pieces and I'll explain to you why in a little bit why it's necessary to have two pieces to make this um, advent calendar that we're going to do so that's the end of step one of prepping your foam board. Now, Ermi, I've been doing, like you said a little bit ago, a lot of stuff with foam board, and I wanted to make an ornament to hang on our um, advent calendar. And so I thought, well, day I go, I wonder if I can cut it on a die cut machine. And so I like cut a piece of foam board and I put it in my die cut machine and you can die cut on it. I was so excited. I um, emailed Cindy to tell her how excited I was to find out that you can actually cut foam board. So literally you cut the piece of foam board, the side. Now this is um, a Sizzix, um, this is what their ornament and light one, but I only wanted the ornament one. So I literally put this on, put it through my machine and cranked it through. And when I cranked it through, it came out like this. And why don't you go ahead and just punch that out. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it like, I'm so excited. This is like, yeah, is it the beautiful. coolest? It's so cool. It is. Should we do it in the middle? No, don't take the middle out because we're actually going to put photos on these on our next step. But you can see it, it does cut through the back. Yes. So you do not want to take this apart. But isn't that cool? I was so excited. So you just put it through and then punch it right out. So the next step we're going to show you is to how to um, finish these up. Okay, Ermi, for our next step, you're going to get your photos ready. Now, an advent calendar has 24 things that you're gonna put on your advent calendar, because the 25th day is Christmas, so you don't have to put one up. A lot of people don't know that, but that's the way I was taught through my years. So I went through my kids' photos. Now, my kids are all getting a little bit older. They're in their 20s, I hate to even admit that. But anyway, so I actually went through and found po photos of them when they were little. I found college graduation, high school graduation. I found different ages of our little Max, our dog, and my daughter got married and her husband. So we just did, a, I did a whole compile. I put them on a word. I shrunk them down to the size that I thought they would and I just ran them off on photo paper. So now that we have them all cut out and we have our, our foam board, and you're going to do the 24 pieces. I'm going to go ahead and let you just glue one to the back. I mean, I'm sorry, glue one to the front. front. So you're just going to use a little bit of glue stick. It'd be Always be generous with your glue stick. You know that. I always say that. And then you're just going to start gluing them right on to... This is so easy. Isn't it easy? This is a really... I got so excited doing this project. I had a lot of fun coming up with it. So hold it out like this so the camera can see it. Oh, Juliet, isn't her bride? She's so pretty, isn't so she? Pretty. So once you get all of those done, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of, um, I just used some silver cord. So you'll just run silver cord through on them, okay? So A loop. So you're going to get those all done and you're going to put them aside. And then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to prepare the box for our advent calendar. 
And the measurements will be on our website. So you're gonna have a bottom, a front, and then two sides. And then what I did too is I just went ahead and I used spray, we'll be using Elmer spray glue on this to hear everything. And I just spray glued it and then put the um, scrapbook paper on. So, or wrapping paper, whatever you have around. And then you're gonna build your box and glue it to the base. But that'll be our very last step. But I did wanna show you that we need to do cut the foam board. Okay, now once we have this all done, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to our next step. Hey, Ermi, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to make the little hangers on our tree. So they're kind of cute, they look like little doorknobs and actually all they are are thumbtacks yeah. with um, buttons. And what I did with the buttons, these are all from Blumenthal Lansing, their holiday line. I ran some uh, quarter eighth of an inch ribbon through the center, tied knots in them, you see that? And then I just used some Elmer's glue and I glued the back. And you want to make sure that they, you know, they're really dry before you use them. And so when they're glued, this is what they're going to look like. Isn't that great? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach this foam board to the next one. And remember I said there was a reason why we had to do it because we're using the thumbtack and to get the thumbtack through the two layers, one layer it'll stick out, two layers it won't. Okay, does that make sense? Guys? Yes, and a lot sometimes. Of so you spray glue, take it outside, spray glue on some newspaper, and you hear this on top of here like this. Once that's seat set, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your pattern. Yes. Okay. So if you want to just help me and hold that down, and then I'm going to use a thumb tack, and where I put X marks the spot, I'm going to go through and I'm going to punch a hole right through this. Okay, so now you get the idea. So we're gonna punch all of the holes. When you remove it, so you can see them there. So you're gonna now take your tacks, put some more glue on here, and you're just gonna punch it all the way through. So go ahead, yeah, there you go. So that gives you the idea. And I just wanna turn this over, see, then it doesn't come through. But if you don't have the two layers, it comes through. So now that makes sense what I was trying to explain? Because you know, sometimes the way my brain works, I don't know. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the box on the bottom. We already showed you the measurements on that. And then we're going to get to decorating our tree. Now the fun part is, even when your kids are grown up and out of the house, if you have the little ones, it's fine. You're going to have all of the ornaments in the little box down at the bottom. And as everybody visits you during the holidays, have them come through each day and hang one. I'm going to let you to hang one on there. I'm hanging this beautiful one. Isn't it fun? So it's just like a, yeah, it's, I use this cord and it's a little twisty today. Yes. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't that fun? So you can just do that. They can just randomly pull whatever. And then you can also see, I just put the Arujo family at the bottom. I mounted it on some foam board. You can do that too, but it's using a painter pen. So now this, I just think everybody should make one. I think it's super cute and a lot of fun. I bet you want to go home and look at all your family pictures and do one, huh? Oh, yeah, sure. I would love to Ermie, do you've been a wonderful guest today. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. And you know what we say when creativity knocks, open the door. door.